Evening folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earthwatch, Tuesday, June 10, 2025. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, mantle plumes or super plumes. So it is understood that uh, at the core mantle transition, or anchor to the outer core, that uh, we have attached uh, two large magmatic blobs made of uh, mantle materials, or LLSVP, which is sh uh, short for large low shear velocity provinces or super plumes so this is the outer core to which our super plumes plumes are anchored to now we have uh, we actually have two we have the uh African LLSVP and the Pacific LLSVP. And these models are actually uh, based on uh, seismic waves traveling through the planet. And this is just another example for your visualization, understanding. Now, going back to my first picture. So once again, uh, the large uh, super plume province is anchored to the uh, outer core of the planet. And you often hear me say that I believe that uh, it branches out, has branches, arms, or nodes coming to the underside of the lithosphere. Now let's talk about the idea of a crustal displacement <coughs> versus an axial tilt. I personally do not believe in the crustal displacement idea uh, for a couple of reasons. First, mantle plumes are anchored to the outer core of the planet. They're anchored to the outer core of the planet. Mantle plume head to the underside of the lithosphere also could be called a hot spot. So if you have a crustal displacement, and if the mantle plumes are anchored to the outer core, then that means that the heads would end up under new locations of the planet. Obviously, would they not? So, Hawaii, places like Hawaii and Iceland and other regions of the, of the planet are actually hot spots. They're the tops of hot spots. The Hawaiian islands were made by a hot spot. Same with Iceland. You also have hot spots underneath uh, Yellowstone and many other locations in the planet. So if you're going to have a crustal displacement or slip, it does not take the, uh, the idea is a separation. Okay, it's a separation. So separation like this. So if this is the Hawaiian hotspot, right, and you have a crustal displacement like this, well, you're going to have the Hawaiian hotspot in a new location. There's absolutely no evidence in Earth's past that this has happened. Now, Ben Davidson, for example, states that hotspots do not exist, really. Again, what feeds Hawaii? What, what feeds the Hawaiian volcanoes? What feeds Iceland? And so on. The crustal displacement idea is to deny the idea of a full axial tilt by the gravitational pull influence from the dark star brown dwarf binary system coming in. It's as simple as that. To say that hot spots and mantle plumes do not exist Well, so again, I, I don't believe in the crustal displacement idea. That just draws away from uh, the idea of the intersection of the binary system coming in. And again, as, as I said, if someone, to, someone were to say to you that this happens every 3,600 years, very simply go and do your own research. A five-year-old can do it. To 
Just keep on adding 3,600 years and do a geological survey of, the, of our planet. What, you know, what, what's the bad things that happen, right? Major volcanic eruptions, extremes, changes in climate shifts, and so on. Keep on adding 3,600. And you will find major catastrophic events happen. I went back as far as 29,000 years. I just stopped at 29,000 years because I found enough evidence. The only one period I couldn't find was the 18,000 year mark. And just because I couldn't find anything in my research doesn't mean nothing happened. So, uh, I want to give you an understanding of hot spots and super plumes, uh, etc. And of course, when you have the induction of the uh, cosmic energy coming in, Filtered down, filtered down through the magnetic cusps. You're going to heat up the magma. You're going to pressurize it. You're going to supercharge it. And that has to escape through mantle plumes, which do exist. Actually, maybe I'll just do a little bit more. So here is a uh, an understanding of where the mantle plumes are, our mantle plume map. For example, Vima hotspot or mantle plume. Periodically, this is where I see uh, heat indications on the satellites, as well as some earthquakes right here. Other more well-known ones is the Reunion hotspot, AFAR hotspot, one in Germany, Eiffel hotspot, of course, Iceland, down below uh, Australia, Tasmania, and all throughout the planet, of course, Hawaii, the Cobb hotspot, which feeds the uh, Explorer Seamount submarine volcano, which is much larger than the axial seamount submarine volcano, Yellowstone. Now, the models I just showed you, it's just a rough idea of the uh, super plumes. For all we know, it could have been growing, expanding, getting larger, getting hotter. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw this uh, map in here for you uh, to take a look at.